Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is me, Lastly, here. Welcome to a brand new episode of the RTG here on FC24. It is episode number 56 today. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, today is going to be almost like non-stop packs, so I do hope you enjoy. Uh, if you do, do me a favor, smash a thumbs up on the video, and of course, subscribe to my channel as well if you're new. Um, so you, you guys know what my team is currently looking like, uh, where we've got, uh, of course, Ledley King at the back with, with Laurent Blanc. We've uh, managed to pack Zambrotta recently as well. Uh, so today, oh, sorry if you can hear my controller vibrating in the background. Got a squad battle second half going on um, just for my final game for Memphis Depay. So you'll see that in tomorrow's video. Uh, but where we're going to start the episode is basically just when I got all of my weekend league rewards, I sent all of the tradable stuff to my transfer list. Uh, I then didn't really realize to go on into to my objectives to see that, oh yeah, we had actually completed James Madison, got a couple of packs for that, and of course the player. Uh, so we now have... Neville, Madison, and Ledley King, uh, so I can finish off doing all of those objectives uh, for extra packs as well. That's going to help me get the hero SBC done. Uh, we will open that as well in today's video, don't you worry. So uh, so yeah, there's, uh, there's loads of packs because I basically played like 10 or 15 games of squad battles uh, just one night and, and got, got a lot done. So this Madison's actually got the uh, long ball pass plus. Uh, as a as a playstyle plus, rather than he had like the free kicks one on his player of the month, didn't he? Am I right in saying that this card is the same rating as the player of the month as well, or not? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, we get a hundred. We got a hundred a hundred champions wins. Uh, so once we hit hundred and fifty, I think we get an ultimate pack. Uh, but for now, yeah, we we just take a little uh, statue or something for the club. A uh, bunch of stuff sold, as you can see. We're back over a million coins again. Uh, so that's nice. We'll open up the rare Electrum. What are we going to get? French center mid from Villa. Hey, that's not great, is it, for a for a rare Electrum? You kind of hope to get a little bit of a uh, little bit of a rating, but we get 82 overall from uh, 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 as Dali in our pack. Um, yeah, definitely not not the the craziest of reward packs, that's for sure. Uh, but because we get a duplicate gold player, I'm going to stick that into a Centurion's upgrade. I think by the end of the episode today, I'll be up to 70 out of 100, and I'm still yet to have put any like money into it, uh, any coins into it. I, I figured since it's got about two weeks remaining on that, we'll probably just get it done fairly naturally, um, unless I fancy having a big binge uh, for, for the final 30. But at the moment, I'm kind of kind of happy to keep my, uh, keep my coin balance where it's at. Um, Ooh, I'm 5-2 up in squad battles. They've managed to score against me twice. Maybe make it a third time here. Oh, no, he skied it. That's good. Uh, anyway, I thought I was going to pack Rolfo. Turns out I didn't pack Rolfo. Neuer sells. We're up to 1,026,000 coins. Uh, and with the squad that we've got as well, it's, it's looking pretty good. I also didn't realize that I'd reached a couple of new levels. Uh, so we're actually level, we've gone past level 17 out of 20 now, so we're quite close. I'm about 2,800 XP away from completing the entire uh, season pass. It's obviously a shorter season, isn't it, this time around? Uh, and I've, I'm not going to lie, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the fact that we've been getting these packs along the way. Um, I would rather shorter, snappier seasons rather than... You know, you know when you finish one at the end of the season and you've like got like four weeks until it refreshes. That's a little bit too much, isn't it? Uh, but we are going to get a walkout from our 81 times 10 or 80 times 10 or 80 times 11. Whatever it is, I got the 86 rated little uh, from Arsenal women's team. And that was the only walkout, I'm afraid. Uh, but... As you can see there, yeah, we, we get an 84, a couple 83s as well. Uh, Got to figure out what to do with these two duplicates right here. Do they go into a Centurion's upgrade? Or no, they might end up going into this. This is an 83 rated squad. Uh, obviously, I think I needed a team of the week player for... Was it for the Hero SBC? I think, maybe. Maybe it was for that. Um, if that's the case, that's why I'm doing this team of the week player pick. Uh, need, needed to be done. Uh, 82 rated squad now, and now I remember to put the players in that I needed to, at least I think I did, uh, that I had as duplicate untradeables. So, uh, yeah, let's get this little player pick opened, and then we'll have a couple more packs to do as well. Uh, highlights from this would obviously be like Salah and stuff. 
Um, I'm pretty sure... Actually, no. What day is it as you're watching this? It's Wednesday. I saw a leak of who's going to be in Team of the Week, but I won't I won't ruin that for you. I'll let you guys wait until 6 o'clock for that one. Um, but, yeah, Base Hero SBC is going to get done, but we just need a few more bits of fodder. Uh, and so I then carried on playing my 10 games of, of, of squad battles or whatever it was to get uh, not only the... Led the kill that triple threat objective done for the packs from that, but also um, another 10 on top of my uh, Centurions wins and Centurions games as well. So there's just going to be packs flying at us left, right, and center. Uh, once I've, of course, played the squad battles offline and done all of that grind, which isn't too bad at all, um, especially when you're just chilling. I think 10 games of squad battles now is about two hours. Uh, so I just watched a film. Can't even remember what I watched. What was I watching? Maybe you guys don't care, so we'll forget about that. Um, but anyway, uh, Gavi is packed once again. Seemed to be getting him quite a lot recently, but I did just put him into an SBC, so that doesn't matter. Now we get ourselves a Portuguese left back from uh, Napoli, I believe that fake badge is. Uh, so we get Mario Rui. And not much else from this Centurions upgrade either. What about this one? It's going to be a Bosnian striker. That is going to be Edin Dzeko, who I believe this year is an 80, 83 or 84. What is he? 83 overall. Cool. Norwegian. Oh, you want to see right winger from Barcelona or striker from Man City and not Arsenal centre mid. Arsenal cam is all right because you get Odegaard, but... Not this, not this girl. Anyway, 70 games done uh, of, of that. So we get an 83 triple for that. Uh, there was also another pack as well for that 70 wins or 60 wins, whatever it was. Uh, Swedish centre back. Oh, it's never Rolfo, is it? It's literally never Rolfo. It's either Bayern or Juventus or Arsenal. And it's one of the centre backs. And that does my head in. One of these days, we will pack Rolfo from Barca. Because I swear, I just buy her... And then use her for a couple games and then sell her again for a loss and then end up buying her again. Norwegian! Oh, Cam. It's better than last time. It's not quite Haaland or uh, or Hansen levels, but it is Martin Odegaard. So we'll take that. Uh, 87 overall, of course. Lovely to get a walkout. Uh, perfect. And an 84 Georgia Stanway as well. And that was in our 83 triple, I'm going to guess. So, base hero upgrade. Do we have the players to put into this? Not quite. So let's go back to objectives, unlock a couple more packs, and see if we can go ahead and get the fodder for it. Uh, this time around, we're going to get Croatian centre mid. Oh, we love to see this. We, when we need fodder, we absolutely love to see this. It is Luka Modric. Welcome to the club. Um, with my recent uh, increase in scoring Trevella goals, I wonder if this Luka Modric is probably an absolute beast at them because he's got it as a playstyle plus. I reckon he could score loads of Travellers on this game if played in the right position to get into those. Like a right centre mid or a right cam, but then it's Modric. He, don't, he hasn't got the pace for a cam. Anyway, uh, I'm tired. Sorry, I'm kind of yawning as well. Didn't get much sleep last night. Didn't get to sleep until about 4 or 5 a.m. Don't ask me why. I think I might be addicted to TikTok. It's not good. Uh, but base hero upgrade then. It's done. Just the one squad required, of course, uh, which is very nice. We're going to open it right now. What did I get? Portuguese. Left wing. No. Centre back. I saw Portuguese. I had Paulo Futra in my head, and I was going to be buzzing. But instead, we get Ricardo Carvalho, who actually, when you take a look at those stats, looks really quite good. Um... Pretty similar in between sort of the Ledley King and the Laurent Blanc. He's got the same playstyle plus as both of those defenders. Uh, I'm sure he will be a really good centre-back. It's just not a position that I needed to fill at this time uh, on in my squad. So he's not very expensive either, which makes it still, you know, from no matter what we got, it wouldn't matter. I didn't spend a penny on the SBC, just my, uh, just my time and fodder, of course. Uh, but yeah, we, we've done our hero SBC. I want to know in the comment section who you got. Did you do the SBC? Let me know who you got. And let me know also what the latest Evo you are on. Who are you doing currently on that? I'm curious to know. So yet yeah, more packs unlocked from our little binge of, uh, of games played. 
And this time an 84 double as well. This could be good. This could be potential uh, for a, a nice player. We've got five decent packs or six or seven decent packs now. Ousmane Dembele. Ousmane Dembele. Baltimore. Okay. <laughs> so be it. I don't think uh, Dembuz is actually that, like, worth anymore. Like, obviously, he's, he's better than Baltimore. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's not... It's not like when we packed him the last time and sold him for like 170k. I think he's down in like the 40s or something now. He's, he's not very expensive uh, these days uh, as the whole market in general has has uh, has come right down. Uh, it's really, really dropped, hasn't it? Um, I don't know whether that's just because of the like slightly less or the, the lack of interest in the game so far this year compared to, to previous or... Maybe it's the people selling up before they go and play Cod or Fortnite. Who knows? Oh, I'm playing Zombies quite a bit, by the way. Um, a decent a decent game mode. I've been enjoying it because it's like slightly... Well, it's obviously a lot less stressful than uh, than playing multiplayer, which is, you know, skill-based matchmaking and difficult every single game. But Zombies is quite fun to just, you know, complete some challenges, have a laugh with your mates, uh, upgrade your guns and all of that sort of stuff. Um... So I've been I've been quite enjoying it. Oh, Italian centre mid from Inter is gonna be a Barella. That's an 86 rated. That's a walkout. We'll take that. That's good fodder once again. Uh, so we're starting to put the fodder together. Should I be looking at that um, Salma Bacha SBC, the RTTK? It's likely that she could go up to a 90 Swedish. It's never Rolfo. Oh my god, this time it's Rolfo. Oh, it's like I've been saying it all episode just to <laughs> just so that I could uh, surprise you with the Rolfo later on in the episode. Uh, not going to lie, I was over the moon. It's nice to have her untradeable. Uh, and we get a double walkout as well. It's Cobalt too. Uh, so, yeah, double 87. So now for an 84 triple, what are we going to get here? Portuguese centre mid from Man City. That's a nice walkout in Bernardo Silva, but just the one walkout. So everything else is going to be 85 or lower. Are we going to get anything worthwhile, though? Oh, of course we are. Marcus Rashford, welcome to the club. Um, yeah, I mean, again, not not worth the hundreds of thousands that I paid way back when. I think he's 60k now, uh, but still very nice to get him. Should I Should I want to use some English players or that sort of thing? So just for the end of the episode, I thought I'd go ahead and put a random squad together that I was going to try and have a little bit of fun with, um, simply to get Ricardo Carvalho into the squad, and it brings Di Maria in as well uh, for the chemistry links and stuff. Now, because I brought an Argentine in, I thought, oh, I'm going to bring a couple more Argentines in. Let's go for uh, the Ballon d'Or winner, the World Cup winner, the GOAT, Lionel Messi, See if we can get him into a squad and have a go. We brought Palacios in as well. Uh, Emi Martinez in net. So this is a squad that I've put together that has only Marcus Lorente off chemistry. Uh, he's on two out of three. No worries there. Uh, but yeah, just to just to bring the goat in to see if we can do anything different uh, and, and try and enjoy it. And also, of course... Uh, Di Maria comes into the squad. I think his card looks really good. We're just using, we, we just sat there not using it. So why not put them into the team? I said I was looking forward to maybe switching that front line up a little bit. Obviously, Rodrigo and Neymar are kind of mainstays because of how good they are. But Messi and uh, Di Maria into the team. And Palacios. It brings the likes of Rice, Aspas, Alawiran, Ledley King out of the squad for now. But, of course, they're pretty decent subs to bring on, aren't they? Um, and I thought this was where I was going to just end the episode. Um, but I actually brought Rodrigo out for the one game that I need to play. Uh, just to put uh, I put Memphis in because I needed a couple more rivals wins with him in it. Uh, but I only need one more rivals win for the week. So, literally, <laughs> the, ga the gameplay, to the extent of the gameplay in today's episode is, uh, is this right here. Uh, a nice bit of dribbling from Messi, a green time shot, and my opponent quits on me. And that gave me my seventh win of the week, so I should be getting my rivals rewards tomorrow, no problem. Uh, I did purposefully lose a game so that I could stay in Div 6, right, at, you know, at the very start, because I was on a hot streak, and I was in this position right here. So my very first game of the day, I just scored an own goal and quit. I think the rewards in Div 6 are just better than Div 5, so I'm not 
I'm not looking to move really, and life is pretty good in Div Six, so I'm not too worried. Um, but yeah, my friends, uh, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. We've gone ahead and completed loads of objectives today. We've done the hero pack. I'm a couple games away from getting uh, my Memphis to pie up to 87. Uh, we've brought Lionel Messi, the GOAT, into the RTG. Uh, packed a hero, done loads of packs. It's, it's, it's been a good one. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please do me a favor. Consider leaving a like rating on the video. That would help me out massively, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. And subscribe to my channel as well if you're new. Cheers. You can follow me on social media. The links are down below. Have a great day, my friends. Uh, take it easy. Stay safe and healthy. Hey, I look forward to catching you again tomorrow. Peace.